Hello everybody, Resented here, Isaac. It's been a while since I did a daily run. Don't you worry, alright? This is... Oh, no, no, no. The continuing is happening very soon. It's been like about a week since I've done an Isaac video. And it's not that I've been playing Isaac and just not recording. It's just I've stopped playing Isaac. Just for the time being, uh, I sort of stopped recording a lot of videos aside from Necrodancer. Including Eternal, which I do plan on going back to at some point in time. Just not at this particular moment. I might go back to it soon. Oh, great. Black Bean. But yeah, I recently learned that the developers changed how the dedication achievement works. And it now unlocks when you do 30 dailies at all. Not in a row, just like if you've done 30 dailies total. So that makes it a lot easier. And then, like, the win streak, I think, still applies, though, for some reason, I don't think I've unlocked it, so maybe I just haven't gotten five wins in a row. I could have sworn that I did. I I might have just gotten four, but, uh, you know, what better time to start than, than now that there's no pressure to actually play every single day. But that might be the weird motivation to get me to play every day, if that makes any semblance of sense. Samson damage sucks. I mean, I could, I could touch these little fatties to get damage, but I think unnecessary damage is the worst kind of damage. I'd want to get, I want to get damage like going through the curse room or on a blood bank. Just like touching an enemy is probably not the best way to get the the damage up. I probably should have waited to pick those up, but oh god. There's just get rid of these first. I'll push the chest into the into the TNT. I just want to get rid of the fire that can directly harm me if I'm not touching it. Eh. Eh, okay. Push with your tiny baby arms, Samson. Okay, get this one first. There we go. That was very good. And yeah, with the red hearts on the ground, it might have been viable to just take damage anyway. But it's fine. If I can get through the floor without taking without taking damage at all, then did I really need the original like damage upgrade? You know, ooh, Psychopanies is, is not bad. It's not very good, but it's also not not too horrible. Larry J can hit you if you uh, don't get rid of him quick enough. Just the uh, random pattern ensures you know. At some point, you might make a mistake just because the path, yeah, exactly. The random path that he chooses just so happens to go straight into you. And you can't react quick enough to not let that happen. But it happened. The Black Bean actually uh, killed him. Killed at least the, the big piece. And I've already been to the item room. So you know what? Since we're going to just mom, time is still of the essence to do boss rush but I think time isn't that big of a constraint I guess I'll take it I mean it allows me to break rocks and stuff and I think it also blocks um, projectiles or like enemy enemy bullets so and I could have used this to open the tinted rock but you know if I, if I had known what the hell why is every poop paying out with money I don't have the petrified poop I just got real lucky or does Samson ball and chain make poops pay out more? I don't think that's the case, but you never know. Or I, I never know, because I actually, I know what a few of these items do. I know a good deal of Isaac and what the items do, but uh, the intricacies are where I lack my knowledge. And unfortunately, I do not own a Lamborghini up in Hollywood Hills. So... I don't possess that knowledge, man. Okay, come on. Just come here. Thank you. We still have a penny, or a key. Uh, oh, God. Scissors is bad, I think. Uh, I think it's okay, maybe? Hold on. Let's just take it. Ace of clubs. Could be useful, but not right now. Let's just use it, I guess. Now I'm a... Yeah, now I'm a walking body with a head that has been left over. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad. I don't think I don't think this is good. 
There could be a secret room here. There is, so I can get into the boss trap room. I don't think a bomb and a key on these are, are worth it. <sighs> I'm gonna do it. Okay, I mean... Oh, shit! How did I get... Uh, four bomb drops from three consume. Oh, the chest. The chest converted. Oh, shit. This is actually kind of scary because they are very fast. And the knockback is incredible. Just gotta. Oh, guy somehow did not take damage. I am one fucking lucky ducky. And there's three of them. But now there's just one of them, so I should not take damage. I mean, the more damage I take, the the stronger I get. Okay, it's just it's just pin. Oh, thank you, ball and chain. Wow, doing some work. Put it like right there, right on his fucking face. Come here, come here, come here. Ah, he hit me. I I played with fire. Also, scissors is on a two room charge. This is news to me. I can probably use Ball and Chain to get access to this. But also with just like five bombs, I might just want to use a bomb. I'll use a bomb. I think that might get the chest. It did. There we go. And I, if I take if I take red heart damage, I'm gonna be so mad because I started the floor with like one and a half spirit hearts, and now I have none. So. You know, if I lose the deal with the devil, I've I've des I've deserved it. I deserve to lose it. Oh, God. okay, yeah. Thankfully they <laughs> I don't mean this in any sort of joking way. Thankfully, they killed themselves. Cuz this room's actually irritating as all hell. Oh, he got me. Damn. I'm impressed. Okay, so the spirit heart's useless now. Ventricular razor can actually be pretty damn good. Ventricle razor. I mean, okay. I actually do want tarot cloth if I'm able to get it. Nah, okay, but I do still have like a 50% chance at a deal with the devil, so you know. I might still be able to get that working. If I don't though, then I'm gonna have to get it working on the on the next floor. I do really have to speed this up. Am I able to pop it? Pop it and lock it? We got one. Uh, ah, yes! I have done it. It gave me a... Are you a wizard pill? It is phenomenal. Just absolutely great. Oh, we got these guys too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Get him, get him. Are you a wizard? Please. This pill is actually horrible. Please, just come here. Stop. Stop. Are you a wizard? God damn. Thank you, Ball and Chain. You are a godsend. Now I can get ventricular or tarot cloth. I uh, even. Uh, I'm on seller too. I really have to go. I really can't afford to spend this much time on the first two floors. Like, holy shit. Also, why is this floor so fucking big? For a floor two floor. Floor, 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 floor. Apparently that's all language is gonna turn out to be in like a hundred years. Just different inflections of the word floor. Until it doesn't seem like a word anymore. Alright, Jesus Christ, it's pin! Don't you hit me again, I'll be very, very upset. Even though the ball and chain is very tempting to just ice you with. We didn't get to deal with the devil. That's fine. Okay, get the hell out of here, because I'm wasting so much time. I think Terror Cloth could actually be pretty damn good, but... Oh, it's a shitty item, so I'm not... I'm not in the ball ballpark for getting, uh... That shit. Okay. The damage sucks now. So I don't think I'm going to be able to... Ooh, I love safety scissors. Yeah, this, this sucks. This damage is fucking atrocious. Like, already. Like, three floors in, I fucking hate this damage. I did not get to deal with the devil. I didn't go back to the shop to get that spirit heart, which I probably should have, but... 
You don't need spirit hearts if you don't take damage, you know? And if I could go the correct way the first time. Ooh, get the bomb, dude. He did not kill anything. I think I killed the, the big one. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Can I just escape from this room? Greed heads are, are really tanky. I really don't want to deal with them. This room sucks, too, but the item room is connected here, so I can't really, uh... Can't really do anything about this. I just sort of have to deal with it. And make it through. Unless the secret room is uh, up there. I don't know, actually. It could be. But it might not be. Ooh, get this guy. Come on. Please, how can one's damage be so bad three floors in? This, God, it's the, it's the fucking Larry Jr. shit. They're just random moving enemies, so it's hard to... You know... There's no real pattern to go by on, on being able to hit them. You just sort of have to shoot where they are and hope that they move in the direction. Oh. This is interesting. I guess so. Scapular is okay. Okay enough to take, I guess. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Careful. This one shoots at you. Thank you. I want... I was gonna bomb there so that I had a, a good route of escape, but then I was able to sort of like move the enemies around to where that bomb placement was useless. I still don't care too much. I still have three bombs, so I'm not worried too bad about my, my usage. Please. Spirit heart. Okay, there is a spirit heart. I gotta fucking buy that. Unfortunately, the tanky, tankiest fucking spider and the fucking champion fucking... Greedhead is gonna make this shop just a little bit difficult. Yeah, this is like a this is a tanky spider. He fucking does that shit. And he spawns something when he dies. Diplopia could be good, but I rerolled it. Oh my god. I don't like I don't I hate it. Please let me let me go. Emperor! Oh, that's actually, like, very good. The sun card. Went ahead and used that. So yeah, the secret room actually was where I thought it was. So I could have gotten out of, uh... I could have gotten out of this room. Actually, I couldn't because it was uh, connected. Per throw. Eh, not as, not as good since I have the D6. But yeah, I was gonna use... Oh, I can also... I can go into the curse room. Okay, even though I'm wasting time, I gotta go in the curse room. Oh, fucking spiders. Plan C? God, no. Thank you, safety scissors. Fucking curse of the tower. Perthro. A fame sucks. It's not even worth picking up, because I... If I get a battery charge, I'll just re-roll it. Okay, what is this? Not bad trip, not bad trip. Range down, Range that's down. that's not the worst. Could be could be worse, but it's not. But it's not it's not that bad. Okay, well. I mean, I should just pick up a Thame, right? But part of me was like, if I'm able to get a re-roll in the shop, I'll go back. But now that I've sort of uh, gone too far. I don't really, I don't really want to go back to get it because I'm, I'm wasting so much time. But this uh, Emperor card basically ensures boss rush as long as I'm able to make it to. Oh my fucking god, Necropolis two before like, you know, say like 18 minutes. Thankfully, there's no tinted rocks as far as I could tell, but s random spirit heart drops have a. Uh, Save the day. Oh, fuck this. I'm, I'm leaving. Oh my god damn it. Why does that room exist on, on caves, dude? Damn. I guess it's catacombs, so it makes sense. But like, holy shit. That was uh, very spooky indeed. There's like just eight of those enemies that have long range. And they deal one whole heart of damage, so. You're on their fucking up list. I want to kill these guys. Because they can snipe you if you're not careful. 
They can get you. Come on, pop up. He spawned more. He has spawned more. That's not allowed. Oh god, I have threaded the needle again. Thankfully, my dodges have been pretty nice so far. My damage sucks! The stain is not a tanky boss. But I'm really in it for the devil deal here. Yes, I have killed it him. It takes three fucking hits to kill these guys. Okay, take meat. Go in here. I fucked up uh, the reroll, but it's Krampus, so it's not that not that bad. Ah! If I get Krampus' head, I'm rerolling it. Lump of coal. I gotta take it. It's good enough. I'm not going back to reroll a fame. It's just not worth it. I gotta I gotta try for boss rush. Ooh, catacombs. Hit again. Nothing but a blood donation machine. Could be good for um Could be good for uh getting the damage up, but not really in decent enough of a position to do that. I need all the health I have, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Fuck this room. Also. It's not even that bad, it's just with my shitty shit damage. Any room that has more than, like, six enemies, I hate. And the room, and the room wasn't even, uh... Necessary. Oh god. Ugh, just kill it. Thank you. Please. Take the penny and go. Oh my fucking god. I'm just... I lost my devil deal, which is fine. It wasn't even guaranteed. But I'm just going in the completely wrong directions. Just please. I, I want... A chance at boss rush. Not even like want to do it. I want a chance at it. If I get to Necropolis 2 post 20 minutes, I'm gonna be so sad. Just please. Ah, it's the wrong way, but it it was an empty room, so I just have bad luck when it comes to like determining where I need to go. And the fucking spider moved so far in one movement. I keep getting hit by fucking snipe, snipe shots. A pill. Pill rotation's been so good. Wow, speed up. I'm actually surprised that it's a good pill. There we go. Go up. Seems right. Oh my god. Thank you. For proving me wrong when I was complaining. Okay, good. Magic fingers. Holy shit. These fucking items also, the, the items that the game has given me is, is bad. Alright, I want it, I want it, thank you. Oh my god, spawning all the bats. It's fine. It's, at least it's not a fucking tanky ass bat that moves around semi-erratically to dodge your bullets. Still not that great. These enemies can be tricky. Also, I could just straight up die. I mean, that's a possibility. Oh, big horn, great, I love it. Yep, get out of this with a firebomb. Oh, the firebomb uh, doesn't get caught out by the uh, safety scissors. Everything else does though, which is good. I mean, safety scissors against big horns seems like to be really good. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's right, right underneath me. Let's try that. Oh, of course I chose the wrong hole. Oh, he spawned too. Okay, this is fine. And I actually don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to boss rush because I just it's taking so long to get through these floors. And it's Necropolis Curse of the Lost. Holy shit, it's not happening. 
Also, I took the damage upgrade as opposed to the tiers upgrade. Because I think damage upgrades at this point increase my DPS more than a tiers upgrade. Because I'd rather have lower tiers but higher damage than the other way around, you know? So I took the damage upgrade, even though it might not have been that good of a damage upgrade. We're at 5.6, I mean, 3.5 is the is the base, so we're not that far away, but we still are. Oh, of course, I chose the wrong way. Okay, boss rush is not happening. It's just, the first two floors took 10 fucking minutes. Like, how does that even happen? So I might as well just get the exploration bonus done. And yeah, once I got to this floor and it was Curse of the Lost, I just, all hope was gone at that point. So I'm just not gonna worry about boss rush and instead just focus on fucking winning. I mean, with my good deal with the double chance, I might as well go to the boss fight and uh, use this to try and get a deal with the devil while I still have the protection of my spirit heart. Careful, yep, that's what I was waiting for. Thankfully my speed is almost capped out. There we go. Get ball and change, son! Get blowed up, son! Yeah, boss rush has been killed. I will take experimental treatment. We got decreased luck, increased damage, increased tiers, increased range, increased speed. And no change on our health. Holy mantle's very nice. You do not scare me. Oh, what? Oh, ball and chain, you fucked me! You asshole! Nah, whatever, I'll fight him. There goes holy mantle. Eh, place bombs, I guess. Big Horn and Safety Scissors has been, like, really helpful with bombs. Thanks for the key piece, which is now turned into the Void. Which is now... <laughs> made D6 useless. Okay, don't go down just yet. I was about to go down, but I missed it. And then realized I shouldn't be going down yet. Oh, I'm... I got touched by the Black Orb. I didn't even see it. So Void now makes this very, very interesting. Uh, I didn't even think Void should have spawned in an Angel Room. But um, I guess perhaps the pool got screwed up. I have max speed, I don't care. Are you another champion? There we go. Ah! I thought I would kill him quicker. I'm also getting a little bit lost because with Curse of the Lost, I don't know where I've been. But I guess that's the point of the of the curse. You know, you get lost. Where we at? Okay. You don't scare me none. Ooh, yes. Steven is good enough to take. I'm not gonna consume it. Come here, Steven. And now our damage is actually not bad. I mean, it's it's not very it's not amazing, but I can't say it's bad anymore. But I did take some. Did I take damage on this floor actually, or is this like base? Um. Well, I mean, I'll buy this. Do that. And consume will re-roll the pills, and it won't consume it. I consumed... I don't even know what I consumed, I forget. <laughs> I consumed this, though. Thanks for that, son. Now we, we lose a penny every time we use consume. Oh, I have to press the buttons, I forget. I hate, I hate this room, because it just seems completely random whether or not you take damage. All right, I mean, at least the, the floor keeps going. Oh, there's two of them. I thought there was only one. That's good enough. Okay. 
I mean, at some point, I'm gonna have to find my way back to the boss room. And that point's, like, at the same point that I'm like, okay, I'm kind of done with exploring. Because there's no way to know whether I've been to every room or not, you know? So I guess once I've been to a room that I've been to before is when I'll stop and just go back. Because I've been to the shop. Okay, you also didn't... I've been to the shop and I've been to the item room, so there's uh, not much else for me here. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I decided to, I decided to do it. I miraculously got a spirit heart back. Also, I have holy mantle, so uh, it doesn't matter. I go into curse rooms for free. I hate. I hate, I hate, I absolutely hate this fucking room. Let me out. Let me out. I hate it. It's so bad. Eh. Okay, I've done it. It's just the rooms where... Okay, well, I've been here before. Okay, so fuck it. I'm, ha I'm going back. The rooms where you have to... Where, like, even if you have, say, like, a lot of damage or... You know, a good run. You still gotta... You gotta work for it. You don't have piercing shots and you can't fly? Well... Fuck you, man. We're gonna make it hard for you, people. Okay. Yep. Threaded it. They didn't... They did not even try. So I'm gonna go this way real quick. Alright, it's just this room. Get away from me. And I can't believe this run is going to be long, even though it only goes to mom. It's going to be like 30 to 35 minutes long. Like, Jesus Christ, this run sucks. I hate it. I guess. Oh, got Curse of the Blind. Okay, just destroy it, I guess. What the hell? Oh, it's like... Okay. I liked how the bed was like jittering around. It was weird, and I liked it. This doesn't involve you, smaller head. Just between me and big head. So I even forget what I've consumed. Like, this room is a lot easier because... Because there's a lot less heads. Like, I've consumed D6, portable slot, and something else. I don't know what it was, though. Can I go in there? Unfortunately not. Ooh, Chaos card means we kill Mom instantly. Would have been nice to make Boss Rush happen with this Chaos card. Or the Emperor card! How about that, eh? But it took 20 minutes to go through the first four floors, so... That's fun, right? That's fun when a run is so shitty it takes 10 minutes to go through the first two floors and then another 10 minutes to go through the next two. It's gonna take almost... Uh, it's gonna take almost exactly another 10 to get through the next floor. Two floors. Like, holy shit. It's like, if that first deal with the devil had something amazing in it, I'm gonna be, like, so upset. What is this? Chariot. Eh. Eh. And I went the wrong way. It's fine. I'm, I'm in it for the exploration now, because... I can't do anything else. I mean, I can try and see if I can get... Oh, God. I can try and see if there's a sacrifice room to get to the dark room, but I don't think this is a dark room run, to be honest with you. Oh, great. We got uh, Curse of the Maze. The pill rotation, can I just say, it's been like of the highest caliber. Of the highest caliber. I love it. Just don't spit your orbs at me. We'll be happy. Go down here because, yeah, I thought that this room was not going to connect to anything else. I want that exploration bonus, man. I might as well get as much, many points as I can while I, like, still have the capability. Oh, 
great, more of these guys. These guys are fun. Ah, there we go. All right, these ones are not bad at all. I just want to go up here real quick. I think this is worth it, eh? Oh, no, it's not worth it at all. I got trash. Got a hanged man, though. So I can get out of this fucking mess. Holy Mantle means these are free. Ah, uh, okay. If it's not a spacebar item, then it's probably going to be good, but if it is a spacebar item, I can suck it up. Curse of the Tower. Two Curse of the Towers? I already saw that item, you fuckers. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. Once you see it, you never see it again. So might as well. Soy milk. Little Steven. Alright, we got the whole Steven clan. Oh, it's another one of these. Potato peeler. I actually don't want to suck potato peeler up because it's bad. Alright, let's leave it then. I'm glad I uh, was paying attention. Because if I just sucked it up randomly, or just like, you know, without thinking, you could be in a bad situation here. There's the mom fight. I might as well explore the rest of the floor first before I do that. And if you're able to get boss rush done, I commend you, because that is difficult, given the absolute shittiness of this run. Because it has taken 10 minutes to do four, two floors for the first six floors. And there is no sacrifice room, so I don't think you're able to go on. Unless, say, like the first deal with the devil that I skipped uh, had like a, a shovel. Or if you were somehow able to get a shovel. Could have gotten some free shit if he dropped the steam sail, but alas, no such thing was possible. All right, let's end it. I'm done. I'm on a chaos card. I I, I kind of don't want to play this run anymore. There you go. Take that. Might as well take both of them, right? Can be. Let's touch. All right. That has done nothing. Why did oh that was a charge key. Also, let, okay, let's just let's just end it. Oh my god, I never do well. Damage penalty is pretty bad. Time penalty is very bad. But yeah, I wasn't able to do boss rush, and there might have been an out to go to the void or the dark room, perhaps. But I'm not in the. I was that that run just wasn't in the cards for me, at least. Anyways. Ugh. It was still a shorter. Oh god, though. Woo. This the post Isaac stretch has made me a yawny boy. But yeah, it was a 30 minute run. Still shorter than average, but to get to the mom, 30 minutes is a long time. So that run sucked. I'm glad it's over. To be honest with you, can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store. Uh, hopefully a better run. I still had fun though. I still won. So you know what? That's one out of the five I need. I'm, I'm just going to restart because, or restart that counter because I thought I got five before. I didn't unlock any achievements, so I imagine I have to just do another five. And this is going to be the first one. Anyways, but yeah, I've started back up the Isaac Daily Challenge series. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, subscribing, all that garbage. And I will see you guys next time.